few days ago I saw <clears throat> one of the most horrible things I could ever hear. Or I heard the most horrible thing. Saw and heard. This is on TV. Uh, that Syria is giving up its chemical weapons. This is the this is one of the saddest things. It means Syria is going to die. And it's going to be taken over by Mujahideen, violent Islamic extremists that the United States trained in Libya. Don't even make any bones about it. Um, we trained, uh, we were supposed to be fighting Islamic extremists in Afghanistan and in Iraq, and then we turned around and we were for them in Tunisia and in Libya, in Egypt. And look what happened in Egypt. Take a look what happened in Egypt. Mubarak was so bad. Now Morsi, you know. Syria, beautiful Syria, beautiful tolerant Syria is, is going to hell. And it's fomented by Zionist Israelis and um, the United States. May God damn the United States. Um... The use of chemical weapons against Mujahideen, against Islamic extremists, is fine. Oh, it's 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 terrible. This and that. Well, war is terrible, and war is all hell, as General Sherman said. Uh, who damn cares how uh, someone who likes to chop arms off of little girls or rape babies? Who cares how they die? Oh, you know, the, uh, it's terrible. Those guys uh, that were hijacking the plane that was crashed into the Pennsylvania field or Ohio field, you know, they were just trying to hijack the plane to kill everybody in the aircraft and to hit uh, a building in the U.S. It was terrible that they were beaten to death by the passengers on the plane, wasn't it? That was horrible. It's horrible that the, the people tried to, you know, save lives of other people, to sacrifice their own. But no, so crazy Islamic extremists that we support, the United States support, you know, basically feeding the crocodile that will attack us. I mean, we've become, you know, uh, appeasers, just like Neville Chamberlain with the Nazis. And churches are being destroyed, targeted, targeted. The Christians are on the side of Bashar al-Assad in 08, I put up on my old channel, John the Hut Dweller, uh, a pro uh, vi footage from a pro Bashir al Assad rally at an Antiochian Orthodox Church, St. Philip's. Um, God bless and God protect Bashir al Assad and all the Christians in Syria. These horrible Zionists in the United States and the evil Israeli Zionists and the scumbag Islamic extremists. They're all allied. They're all with each other. Uh, the United States had a little blip where it, you know, went into Iraq, run by Saddam Hussein, a secular fascist, to fight Islamic extremists. That's a bunch of crap. Um, and it wasn't for oil. It was just stupidity. But the United States has always, and so has Israel, Israel and the United States have always loved, had this sick, uh, sadomasochistic um, love for lust or sexual desire for Islamic militants killing children and women and men and Christians and Samaritans and, you know, moderate Muslims. Bashir al-Assad is he's a Levi or a Lawi. Um, you know, they play stringed instruments, they dance, they <coughs> do things like that. <coughs> Can't have that. We need an Islamic State. This is what the United States is for. The United States is totally anti-Arab, totally anti-Catholic or Orthodox. Oh, it likes Protestantism, right? Loves Protestantism. Hates the Catholics, hates the Eastern Orthodox, especially if they're Arab. If you are a Christian and you are not white, they despise you. They hate you. And it is right to pick up arms to fight such evil.
for sure. Al Assad, may he live forever. He might have already died. I don't even know. I, I had to stop. I've been bitching about Syria and, and screaming and yelling about it since 08. So for the past year, I've just shut my mouth and turned away because I can't, I can't watch it anymore. I can't do it. I can't see my land, my holy city, uh, my ancestral home just to be shredded by this garbage. Just shredded. And this form of Islamic extremism didn't exist in the 1960s. In the 1960s, Muslims were far more moderate, far more tolerant. It came with the Israeli state, and after the 67 war, this form of extremism was implemented. And it wasn't even large. It took until uh, the late 80s, early 90s, for things like Hamas to build up. Or after the Iranian Revolution, when Hezbollah started in, I believe, 1979 or 81, I forget. Uh, when it really picked up. And even Hezbollah at the beginning wasn't such a... wasn't as crazy as they are today. Um, and it's 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 sickening. And uh, giving up their chemical weapons, their biological weapons, anything, is the worst thing in the world. Why America and the Western powers can dictate to everybody. We didn't give up landmines. Why? Because demilitarized zone uh, between North Korea and South Korea, we knew, hey, that evil across there is far worse. No weapons, no, no weapon is worse than a psychotic regime. No weapon is worse than that. And if we, I mean, look at the psychotic regimes we had to face. The destruction of two cities, two entire cities, Nagasaki and Hiroshima, with the atom bomb. That was totally justified because we were fighting an evil power that was killing men, women, and children and loved to do it. And we are now backing the Mujahideen, the Islamic extremists, and we've done it in Tunisia, in Libya, in Egypt. We've destroyed those countries. We've sent them back a thousand years. I mean, what happened in Egypt? Destroying all that Egyptian stuff. Why? I mean, who took the nose off the Sphinx? It was the Muslims. Because these insane, radical Muslims hate anything pagan, so all, all the ancient Egyptian religious stuff needs to go. And they would destroy the pyramids if they could. And the most ancient city of Christians isn't Jerusalem. It's Antioch, and not displaced in Damascus. Damascus, the street called Straight, there's a church there, and it's been there from the beginning. It's where the Antiochian Orthodox Patriarch is, will be eradicated. And the most ancient community of Christians, the place where they're first called Christians, is going to be destroyed. But you know what? We don't count as Christians, because we're not Catholic or Protestant. But even with the Catholics, more ancient than Rome, the Maronites, the Malkites, the Monophysite Syriacs, the Calistonian Syriacs, known as the Antiochians, the Assyrian Church of the East, all wiped out. Because if you're not white or African-American and you're a Christian, you don't exist and you should be murdered by extremist Muslims. It's the same way in Indonesia and in the Philippines, um, the same way with the South Moluccans, it's the same way with every Arab. Know this, the United States hates you. Non-white, or uh, Arabs are white. We are the whitest people. We are we had civilization when the Europeans were living in mud huts and eating dog. Um, so we are the true people. But if you're not a Western European, you know, because even they hate the Serbs, they hate the, the Orthodox Serbs. If you're not a Western European or a Westerner, even if you're black and in America, if you're not a Westerner, Western Christian, if you're a Christian from somewhere else, they don't consider you Christian, and they hate you, and they want you to be killed by extremist Muslims. And they train them, and they fund them. I want all, all the Orthodox Christians around the world to know this. They want you dead. And they will laugh about it, and they will call it liberation, they'll call it a freedom fight for an intolerant, psychotic, woman-hating regime to come to power to kill every minority. And that goes for Africa, that goes for Eastern Europe, that goes for the Middle East, that goes for Asia. 
but goes for the, the islands in the Pacific and Indian Ocean. Peace to you, but there is no peace. There is peace when the Zionist state in the United States and Great Britain are wrecked or a change comes about. Change in the zeitgeist, but that will only come with a lot of blood. Obama has more has just as much blood on his hands as Bush does. The Syria giving up its chemical weapons is a fucking atrocity. Do I believe it's right for Arabs in the United States to pick up arms to go to war with any police, military, or government official? I think it's right. I'm not advocating for it, but I... Well, I don't want to say that I'm not advocating for it, but um, I think it's right. I think it's a good thing. I think war, I'm not comfortable with war fighting or killing or guns or bombs. As a human being, I'm not comfortable with that. But I'm also not comfortable with civilizations being completely erased because America wants to see Islamic extremists in power or because let's destabilize the country so they can't be a problem for Israel. And that's exactly what's happening in Syria. And Jordan, you're next. Because look what, look what they did in Lebanon. Look what they did in Lebanon 30 years ago. And then look at North Africa in just the past few years. Since like 06, 06 07, 08 maybe. Yeah, 08. Now, hell is coming. All hell is, hell is there. But total hell will be there soon. The chemical weapons should have been used. Russia, a godsend, was helping the Syrian people, but the West strong-armed them. Hell is coming to everybody, and it's called Islamic extremism. And 9-11 will be nothing when the caliphate comes. A few days ago, I saw <clears throat> one of the most horrible things I could ever hear, or I heard the most horrible thing, saw and heard. This is on TV, uh, that Syria is giving up its chemical weapons. This is the, this is one of the saddest things. It means Syria is going to die, and it's going to be taken over by Mujahideen, violent Islamic extremists that the United States trained in Libya, don't even make any bones about it, um, we trained, uh, we were supposed to be fighting Islamic extremists in Afghanistan and in Iraq, and then we turned around and we were for them in Tunisia and in Libya in the United States. Thank God damn the United States. Um, the use of chemical weapons against Mujahideen, against Islamic extremists, is fine. Oh, it's, it's, it's terrible, this and that. Well, war is terrible, and war is all hell, as General Sherman said. Uh, Egypt, and look what happened in Egypt. Take a look what happened in Egypt. Mubarak was so bad, now Morsi, you know. Syria, beautiful Syria, beautiful tolerant Syria is, is going to hell. And it's fomented by Zionist Israelis, and um, you know, who damn cares how uh, someone who likes to chop arms off of little girls or rape babies? Who cares how they die? Oh, you know, the uh, it's terrible. Those guys uh, that were hijacking the plane that was crashed into the Pennsylvania field or Ohio field. You know, they were just trying to hijack the plane.